Good morning, everybody. Welcome to today's Reading the Red this Tuesday morning. Uh, really foggy out this morning on my walk. Um, so here we are in Matthew chapter 13, uh, verse 27. Jesus continues in this parable, uh, which has um, a specific meaning, but we're trying to draw out from it a little kind of uh, cherries of wisdom uh, that this parable contains. So Jesus says in 27, the slaves of the landowner came and said to him, sir, did you not sow good seed in your field? How then does it have tares? So the slaves, having waited, have seen that the seed had produced grain. But alongside the seed, there was tares. And the tares are imposters, bad things in your life. And the slaves notice and they ask the question because they're unaware that someone, an enemy, had come and sown the tares. And these enemies that come and sow the tares are Many, many, many voices. And so they say, Sir, didn't you sow good soil? Did, did good seed in the soil? How comes that there are tears? And Jesus says these words. He says that he is aware of these things and says, uh, and They ask, How then does it have tears? That question, How then? Does it have tears? And it has tears because an enemy has come. And your enemy and my enemy is evil. Anything that really is trying to produce in us something wrong, something bad, that's a tear. And even yesterday I was at church about seven o'clock. I walked outside the door of the church, bumped into a couple, started to chat to them. And within a few minutes, this woman was bringing a stroke prophecy over my life about what an evil person I am and how wrong my life has been. And I'm thinking, after the first declaration of offence, like you've got the blood of the saints on your hand and things like that, I switched off from what she was saying because I knew that she was trying to sow tears in my heart. And there are many people that do it much more subtly than they. I mean, they were like a noisy, a clanging cymbal, a noisy gong and a clanging cymbal. But people, are, and the enemy is much more subtle than that. They say little things, they hint little things, they drop little thoughts. They try to sow tears into your soul in order for you to be damaged. And you don't realise it at the time, but all of a sudden, one day you wake up and you think, why is that there? And how did that get there? Well, it got there on the occasion when you listened to something that was really not appropriate for you to listen to. Something you gave yourself to that you shouldn't have given yourself to. Something you accepted as true when in fact it was a lie. And we might look around the gardens of our lives and see many things that are wrong. Well, let me say this. God is in the business of pulling up the tears, pulling up those seeds that were imposters and that did not reflect his will and desires for you. God is in the business of pulling up those tears, but he's doing it in his own perfect way and his own perfect time. And uh, tomorrow we'll discover a little bit more about how God will resolve these problems of the tears in our lives. Have a great day. Protect your heart from those enemies who want to sow in you wrong things.